MS, multiple sclerosis, is an autoimmune disease where the body attacks the myelin sheaths, those sheets of fatty tissue around the nerve cells which help the body move. So the memory trick for MS, just think MS, myelin sheath destruction, so we get MS, muscle spasms and stiffness. Now, myelin sheath I call muscle sheets, since they are the protective coverings around the nerve cells in the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord which helps the body move by sending electrical impulses from the brain to the rest of the body. Now, in terms of diagnostics, we do an MRI or CT scan to see plaque on the brain and spinal cord. And so think multiple scars with plaque in multiple sclerosis. We see a lot of scars. We can also do a lumbar spinal puncture, also called a spinal tap, where we see high levels of antibodies, meaning the body's own immune system is attacking itself. Now, Hesse mentions three to four millimeters of sclerotic brain plaque on an MRI. The key term there is brain plaques, is indicative of MS diagnosis. And elevated gamma globulin in cerebral spinal fluid from that lumbar puncture. So, fancy words for antibodies are present. Now, specific causes are unknown but it's linked to genetics like females as well as environmental factors like infection as well as vitamin D deficiency. In terms of signs and symptoms, clients with MS can look perfectly fine on the outside, but inside they can have burning sensations, numbness, and tingling. Now, during bad flare-ups, we can see the key signs, so write this down, muscle spasticity. Remember, MS is muscle spasms. That's the number one key sign. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. Now Kaplan also states that ataxia or uncoordination, and even balance impairment, as well as urinary retention and hyperreflexia of the extremities, as well as decreased concentration, and fatigue and paralysis, and even eye and vision problems like double vision, blurry, or even dark spots. Again, try not to memorize all these symptoms, but rather just think of the patho here. So just think MS, you have myelin sheath destruction, leading to MS, those muscle spasms and muscle weakness all over the body. Speaking of this weakness for patient education, we need to educate the clients to balance exercise with rest. So write that down. Fatigue is a common symptom of MS. So do not increase the duration of workouts. We must balance exercise with rest. Basically, don't overdo it with crazy hardcore workouts. A commonly chosen wrong answer was to build strength by building duration of daily exercise, and no, that is incorrect. Remember, stress is a trigger for MS and typical for all autoimmune diseases. So avoid the four S's that trigger flare-ups. Again, this is typical for all autoimmune diseases where anything that can irritate the body can usually cause an immune response. So the first S is for stress. This includes exercise, surgery, and even injury. But really, the big one here is don't overdo the workouts. So no marathons and no intense, hardcore workouts here. Now, the second S is to avoid sickness or sepsis. We need to educate the clients to stay healthy and free from infection. The third S is smoking. So we use smoking sensation, typical for all NCLEX questions. And then the last one here is the one to note. Sun and extreme heat are big no-nos. So no hot tub, no bath, and no sauna that's extremely hot. Out of all these triggers, this is the one to know. So write this one down here. Avoid extreme temperatures. No yard work outside when it's too hot. No hot showers or baths or even those hot tubs. And definitely no saunas or even heating blankets. Remember, cool is best here. So mellow out and stay cool with MS. Now, Hesse had two tricky questions about this. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. 
and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.